Hello, I'm Johnny Cat. Where can I take you tonight? How do you quickly retrain a fleet of self-driving cars? Stay tuned and find out on this week's episode of Create Consume Repeat. The answer might surprise you. Nine years ago, Blizzard Entertainment released the hotly anticipated sequel to its smash hit StarCraft, a science fiction based real time strategy game where you battle over resources and defend against enemy counterattacks on the fly by taking control of one of three warring factions the Terrans, humans exiled from Earth, the Zerg, a super species of assimilated life forms, and the Protoss, a technologically advanced species with psionic powers. Pretty cool. The sequel, like its predecessor, would go on to become a smash hit and one of esports' biggest franchises. And to this day, it's still one of the most watched games in the world, and not just in South Korea. Now, it should come as no surprise that Google's AI, DeepMind, would take on StarCraft's greatest players, since it's already beaten the world's greatest chess and Go players. So in January of 2019, DeepMind would do battle against humanity's best StarCraft II players, and pulverize them. But it wasn't exactly a fair fight since AlphaStar, what Google has named the StarCraft playing AI, had the following advantages. One, the ability to issue thousands of actions per minute in comparison to a human opponent's average of 390 actions per minute. Two, surgical precision when issuing commands. While human players are obviously limited by the mechanical precision of their mouse and keyboard and human movement. Three, a godlike view of the battlefield, unlike the camera view players are restricted to. And four, experience, 200 years of virtual experience to be exact, which enabled AlphaStar to defeat the built-in game AI set at elite level 95% of the time. And hell, let's be honest, that's wildly impressive. Obviously, all of these advantages would allow AlphaStar to exert a level of control over its units that no human player could match. But when dialed back to better align with human performance, well, AlphaStar came up short. Fast forward a few months later, and AlphaStar is now taking on the public via a DeepMind opt-in button on the 1v1 versus menu in StarCraft II. And this new version of AlphaStar is more feature complete, since it can now play as any of the game's three races, whereas in January, it was only trained to play one race, the Protoss. So head on over to StarCraft, boot up, and get your ass handed to you by DeepMind. I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No, be afraid. Be very afraid. On face value, this seems like the natural evolution of DeepMind and its march toward gaming superiority, but it goes deeper than bragging rights. According to a report published by MIT Technology Review, the techniques that Google is applying to make the game's AI smarter and harder to beat in StarCraft II have already been carried over to neural network development. One of the algorithms employed by DeepMind is called population-based training, which mimics natural selection and shortcuts the learning process by starting with the most efficient units, then basing future adaptations on those units. This same algorithm is being implemented on Google's fleet of self-driving vehicles known as Waymo in hopes of improving the self-driving car program. And look, I'll be the first to say that this implementation sounds amazing, but if you're a fan of this channel, you know I take issue with unchecked advances in the field of AI and robotics. It's one thing to beat the world's greatest chess and Go players, but training it to win in more complex and sophisticated strategy war games like StarCraft II, then implementing that knowledge in the real world, well, I find that alarming. One minute it's self-driving cars, and the next it's unmanned attack drones. Oh wait. And if for a second you think I'm being an alarmist, well, you might want to reconsider that, since DeepMind's advances are happening more frequently than you might expect. Take for example the most recent news of DeepMind not only defeating us at Quake 3 Arena, but its ability to support human players in Capture the Flag, a clear sign that AI is advancing in the areas of teamwork and self-learning, not to mention navigating 3D spaces and fragging you with automatic machine guns and rocket launchers. Yay! And yes, their playstyle looks dorky, but make no mistake, these bots get results. Don't believe me? Here's a quote from a deep mind scientist and professor of computer science at London's Global University. 
Our results demonstrate that multi-agent reinforcement learning can successfully tackle a complex game to the point that human players even think computer players are better teammates. They also provide a fascinating in-depth analysis of how the trained agents behave, work together, and represent their environment. But what makes these results so exciting is that these agents perceive their environment from a first-person perspective, just as a human player would. In order to learn how to play tactically and collaborate with their teammates, these agents must rely on feedback from the game outcomes without any teacher or coach showing them what to do. What? Wow, that sounds like they're becoming more human than human is our motto. Now, I understand that this topic can be polarizing, and I'll admit I'm no expert in the areas of AI or robotics, but I am a student of history, and if I'm certain of any one thing, it's that your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. And if all of this has you down, well, I apologize, but take solace in the fact that we can still outrun our robot overlords by running up and down a flight of stairs. Or maybe not. Still think I'm an alarmist? Let me know in the comments section below. Reconsidering that smart home investment? Let me hear all about it in the comments section below. Whatever your feelings are, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe so I can keep cranking out these episodes for you guys because I love doing them. See you guys next week.